Another important function that we've incorporated in the AS3X application is mixing. Of course, what mixing is, is you're actually having a master channel and your input to the master channel not only causes an output from that master channel, but you can also have a secondary channel which is also um, used to have an output. So for the example that we're going to give here, say for example that I want to mix, I have a steerable nose wheel on my aircraft and I have, you know, I want to be able to activate that such that I want to be able when I move my rudder that my steerable nose wheel will operate in the correct direction. Obviously right rudder will give right steering and in addition I want to be able to manipulate the amount of travel that I have. It's not necessarily going to be the same amount of travel. In addition, it would be real nice if when I retracted my gear that that mix would turn itself off so that servo is not being operated when it doesn't need to be, you know, when the airplane is flying and the gear is retracted. So let's go through mixing and I'll show you how all those functions work. So in the settings screen, the AS3X settings screen, bottom middle there's a couple mixers, it's a mixer icon, go ahead and uh, activate the mixing function. You'll notice that there's add mix and you'll be able to add multiple mixes. So let's start by adding a mix and that will take you to your mixing functions. Um, this is a somewhat sophisticated function and you'll notice that there's a question mark in the top right. If you ever get into this, you have questions about how the functions work and in fact in, the, in that um, help tutorial, it actually gives the example of how to do a steerable nose wheel. So let's talk about the various functions that are in this list. The first thing is the name. I'll be able to name this function. And in this case, I'll call it steer. So steering. Um, you can call them anything you want to. It just makes it very easy so that when it's displayed later, you'll easily be able to tell what you have. The master. The master is the channel that's going to be mixed from. In this case, the master is yaw. Also think of yaw as rudder. And I'll hit done. The slave. I need to choose an auxiliary channel that's not being used. So in this case, let's say I'm going to use auxiliary three. So now I'm going to be adjusting when, my, when I move my rudder channel or my yaw, I'll have a, the slave channel, auxiliary three will move as well. Now the rate is the amount and the direction that the auxiliary three will follow yaw. If I have a 100% rate, that means that my um, auxiliary three will mimic my yaw input. In this case, I'm gonna go 80% and 80%. Now, by the way, in order to change direction, say for example, I go 80 and 80 and the travel is correct, but doggone it, it's moving the right direction. What you do is you simply go back here and you go minus 80%. Now, in that direction, the servo is gonna be traveling in the opposite direction. So um, positive or negative values are going to control the direction that the mix occurs, and then the value that you have is how far it occurs. Offset. So you generally are not going to use offset for, in fact, you won't use offset for rudder to steerable nose um, mix. What offset is used for, in fact, probably the most popular function is called snap flaps. So the way offset functions is, you'll notice here I have 80 and 80. If those were two different values, the crossover point that that rate occurs is the offset. So let me give you a perfect example. The, uh, the function called snap flaps. So it's used primarily in sailplanes. So I'm going to mix my elevator to my flap such that I'm going to pull uh, you know, some elevator, I get no flaps at all. I'll increase the elevator throw more, nothing happens. I get to about 75% of up elevator and that's when I want my mix to occur. If I wanted that to happen in, in that perspective, I would have a mix rate of zero, that's anything above or you know, down elevator, but when I have up elevator, I would program in an offset of 75% so that when I pull up elevator, nothing occurs until I get to 75%, and then the value that I would put in on the other side, my, you know, the, the plus or the minus rate is going to be relative to the direction that I want the flaps to go, and also the amount of travel that it goes. So offset is only used in a couple specialty applications like snap flaps, but that's how it works. So output. So for, for a mix where we're mixing the yaw or the rudder to the auxiliary three for steerable nose wheel, the output is going to be the auxiliary three channel. Now, if we wanted to have a separate output, so say for example, if I wanted to have my yaw to be um, mixed to the auxiliary three, and then I wanted to stick my auxiliary three channel 
or you know, my steerable nose wheel into a different channel, auxiliary two or a different available channel or different port, there I can put in an output. So it, uh, output allows me the option of having that slave channel plugged into a different port. Trim, I either want trim off or on. What that does, the rudder has trim. So for example, if I want, when I, when I give right rudder trim or left rudder trim, do I want that trim to transfer to my steerable nose wheel or not? In this case, no I don't. If I wanted that trim to transfer, then I would move this to on. In this case, I don't want that to transfer, so I leave it to off. Now, the last function is the switch. At the beginning of this um, video section, we talked about the ability to be able to turn this mix off and on. So I'm gonna scroll down here, and I want this mix to be turned off and on with the gear channel. So when I retract the gear, the um, function is going to be on. When I retract the gear, the function is going to be off, so the servo isn't going to be moving. When I put the gear down, the function is going to be on, so it's going to give me steering. So you'll notice that there's three possible positions. If I had a three position gear switch, you know, normally I have a two position gear switch. So the important positions to have turned off and on are zero and two, because it's going to be a two position gear switch. So if I want this mix to be on in position two, I highlight that and it gets orange. So now when I flip to position one, this mix will be off, position two, and it'll be on. And that's the basic functions of mixing. You can utilize this for you know, a tremendous amount of options. Um, you've probably used mixing in some of your other um, functionality with your models, but uh, this is the basics of mixing uh, in the AS3X system. It's very similar to what you've probably previously used, but that's how it works with this system.